Time for John Baptiste and Stay Human, everybody. It was a beautiful, amazing. Eddie, John, that was incredible. You guys were playing just now. That was really beautiful. Well, John, listen, I am not surprised that the band sounds good or that you're a gifted musician. You guys are jazz masters over there. Yes, indeed. But yeah. one thing I did not know is how deeply you care about this country. Mm -hmm. And how much you do to try to heal, uh, what do you call it? You try to heal the. Uh... You gotta, you have to heal the racial divide. You have to heal the racial divide, exactly. And um, <laughs> important. And what I didn't know, what I didn't know, I just found out that today is that you've created a public service announcement that addresses right, important right. misunderstandings between yeah, uh, almost, black people and white people. Yeah, it's almost voting season, and I wanted yeah. to. Say something because the tensions are high right now. Right, right, right. And so uh, you yeah. created a PSA that, that, that explains uh, sort of a black point of view to white people that it's important for us to understand. And if you're okay, if you're okay with it, I'd like to show it right now. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. But ladies and gentlemen, this is, this is uh, John Baptiste's uh, very important PSA. Jim. Hey, everybody. I'm John Baptiste. And normally I speak through music, I can even do tongue twisters. But some issues are so important, I want to talk about them with my throat piano. You see, here in America, it can be difficult to talk about race. There are a number of reasons why, but mostly it's slavery. Sometimes you just want to climb on the roof and say, hey, white people. Sometimes white people will say anything to avoid calling something racist, like racially tinged. The f does that mean? <laughs> Did it put on some racist makeup before it left the house? You know what's really annoying to me? How people assume that all black people know each other. I mean, honestly, I don't get it. Like, in your mind, what's going on? What do you think, we all meet at Oprah's house once a month and discuss black people's stuff? Well, you're wrong. It's twice a month. Oprah cooks for, for the black people. So you're right. What do people mean when they say tall, dark, and handsome. Which part is dark exactly? You know, because of my scar, I'm always typecast as some sort of thug or something. And because I'm a black man in America. But I contain a multitude of things. I, I could do a British accent with the, in the theater, you know, the best of them. I could do Hamlet, you know. Olaf Poyorek. <laughs> oh, I knew him well. So, I went to the doctor's the other day, and this white dude mistook me for the caddy. So I said, I'm gonna call Will Smith and ask him, how rich do I have to be for people not to mistake me for a caddy? And how rich did you have to be for people to forget the legend in the bag of vans? Hey, white people, please stop walking around without shoes. This is New York City, everywhere is not your kitchen, okay? These streets are dirty. I don't even know if it's safe to walk around with shoes on, to be honest. Damn y'all nasty. And quit kissing your dogs in the mouth. Hey, white people. We did it. I mean, we had a good run. That was a pretty solid run for white people for a while. I don't know what Kevin Hart and Gail King and Samuel L. Jackson are telling you, but I'll tell you what they're not telling you, that we didn't have a good run. Boy. Hey, white people, right? Wow. Hey, white people. I'm really glad you like jazz, and I love it when you come up to me and tell me that. But that doesn't mean that I want to hear you scat. That's a biddly boo ba doo ba dibble doo ba bad idea. Unless you like Chet Baker or somebody, then it's cool. Thank you, John. We'll be right back with Lupita Nyong'o.